I collected Minecraft 1.20's 50 rarest seeds. From the best village spawn ever to the most perfect survival island and everything in between, there's not a single seed you can afford to miss. Starting with Minecraft's most beautiful cherry lake spawn. The giant lake is surrounded by sunflowers and steep cherry blossom hills. It's the perfect place for your long-term survival base. You'll share this stunning location with some villagers. This double blacksmith village climbs up and over the cherry wall and has unbeatable views of the lake. The villagers couldn't have picked a better spot for their farm. There's loads more beautiful places to build outside the cherry walls too. Talk about luck. Up next is an exciting structure-filled spawn that is packed with brand new features for the Trails and Tales update. Right on the edge of the jungle, you'll find a ruined portal, a pillager outpost, a desert temple, a village and the newly added trail ruins all in the same spot. And if that wasn't enough, right outside the village are two desert wells. It's the perfect spawn for all archaeologists out there. And don't forget the buried treasure underneath the portal. This seed gives you such a great head start. Here's a seed with another beautiful village perfectly nestled into a cherry grove crater. It's the dream location for enjoying a chill and peaceful Minecraft life. But this village hides a deep, dark secret. If you dare, make your way into the dripstone caves and behind the houses, and you'll be steps away from a 140 block drop into an exposed ancient city. With the underlying threat of the Warden, maybe life here won't be as chill as we first thought. This seed spawns you by a bamboo valley just over the river from another insane cluster of structures. This crazy meadow contains a pillager outpost and a woodland mansion that has collided with both a village and partially buried jungle temple. It's an ideal spawn to gather loot, but also for gathering XP. Just break a few blocks under the temple and you'll have yourself a unique location for a skeleton farm. You'll notice a cave next to the outpost that spits you outside of the meadow and heads you in the direction of another cherry grove village. Things are about to heat up. With this seed, you'll step foot into the most incredible badlands you'll ever set your eyes on. Check out this unbelievable wooded badlands mountain ring that extends all the way from the lake at the bottom all the way up to Minecraft's max height limit. Take in the jungle and ocean views from the very top or even explore the exposed caves found throughout the peaks where you can build a unique base high above above the clouds. This seed tells its own story where you sail in, crash land to become part of this ocean fishing town. This island far out from sea contains a village, a shipwreck and even a ruined portal. As well as great loot, there's adorable turtles laying their eggs along the coast. It's the kind of place that just brings a smile to your face. Although that smile might turn into frustration if you were crazy enough to try and complete this underwater giant ruined portal. Continuing with the theme of islands, we've got another fantastic seed to share. This time, this island is massive, boasting towering mountain peaks blanketed in snow. On one side of the island, the mountain has collapsed, allowing frozen aquifers to flow down into a large open lush cavern. But that's not all. There's a village here too, giving the island an extra touch of charm. It's as if you've stepped into a fantasy movie, the perfect place to kickstart your medieval kingdom. There's even a generously sized mushroom island close by too. Minecraft never ceases to amaze, and this seed right here is no exception. Just take a look. You spawn right in the middle of a gorgeous cherry grove that almost completely surrounds this mountainside lake. And if that's not stunning enough, there's a mind-boggling sinkhole right in the middle. Within that sinkhole, there's a naturally generated cherry tree. We're not sure how this is possible. A falling sapling must have caught a strong breeze and planted itself. Imagine one of Minecraft's rarest structures being right under your feet as soon as you start the game. It's possible with this seed that spawns you right on top of a woodland mansion. Just don't get too close to the edge because this mansion sits high up on a cobblestone tower thanks to generating in a windswept forest. It's truly a sight to behold. This would make a great mega base right at spawn. Circle around the mansion to find floating islands and epic cliff faces. This seed gives off strong, amplified vibes. It would be an incredibly rare occurrence to spawn on a village island. This seed takes that rarity to a whole new level by spawning you on an island with an abandoned village combined with a brand new structure. Behind one of the houses, you can find some exposed trail ruins. Treat yourself to some archaeological treasures and then try out your best to bring this village back to life. We've still got 40 seeds coming up that are really going to blow your mind. The best cherry spawns ever, insane structure combinations, and villages that 
that really shouldn't exist. But first, if there ever was a seed for an epic castle build, this is it. It literally gives you the mountains inside of mountains. There's a ginormous triangular mountain range that is so big, it's able to fit in a separate set of mountains and its own forested valley. Imagine how incredible your castle is going to look built on the inner mountains, protected by both the deep valley and the outer peaks. Build a drawbridge over to the frozen peaks and you'll find yourself a nice cherry grove on the other side. Maybe your castle could use some pink wood for that extra touch of charm. Jungle temples and woodland mansions are notoriously hard to find, but not here. In this incredible seed, you spawn right on top of a jungle temple. And if you dig down directly under the temple, you'll stumble upon a mind-blowing surprise, a fully fledged woodland mansion. This is already one of the rarest spawns in Minecraft, but there's still an additional structure here to show you. Put the claustrophobia to the back of your mind and make your way through this tiny gap that leads directly to an exposed spider dungeon wedged between the surface and the mansion roof. Fancy a seed that's already done all the hard work for you. This seed has a fully complete 12 eye end portal. It doesn't get luckier than that, and with being only just 1,000 blocks from spawn, you couldn't ask for an easier ride to the end. 160 blocks above the portal is a serene meadow village surrounded by rivers, forests, and even another village with a cherry grove. It's a great combination of convenience and chill. This seed has one of the longest drops ever, but first, check out what's at spawn. You first step foot in a bamboo forest by the coast with loads of amazing features close by. Most notable, there's an amazing cherry hill with breathtaking views of a max height mountain range. While you're taking the view, explore the cherry slopes where you can find an outpost, a village, and even an exposed zombie dungeon under the village farm. Get your hiking boots on and head up through the mountains while you'll come across a 200 block drop into an ancient city. We would highly recommend an elytra for this. We're turning the temperature down a notch with this seed, but the structures are only just heating up. Here you spawn in an ice bikes biome right next to four structures in a square formation. It's not often you find four structures equally spaced apart like this. There's a pillager outpost with a cage packed full of alleys a giant ruined portal that positions you directly above a nether fortress, a fully intact shipwreck, and a village. This is the best snow spawn we've seen in a while. Here's another seed that forces you to experiment with one of Minecraft's newest wood types by spawning you on a bamboo survival island. Jungle islands are super hard to find, especially this far away from the mainland, so to have one right at spawn covered in bamboo is incredibly rare. Literally the only other land in sight are the four mushroom fields surrounding the island. If you want an isolated bamboo survival experience, you won't find better than this seed. This seed has a village that has slotted perfectly into a cherry blossom crater. This village could have generated anywhere in this world. What are the odds that it would completely fill the hole created by the cherry grove? Jump down from the houses above to find villagers going about their lives while being showered with petals. The cherry walls are also littered with exposed caves. This is such a fun village to check out in the new update. If you want to be considered the greatest of all time in Minecraft, then you have to survive on this seed. It's a seed where you'll be forced to live the life of a mountain goat thanks to this gigantic max height mountain range that takes up 4,000 chunks around spawn. Spawning high above the clouds, all you'll see is frozen mountain peaks as far as the eye can see. You could build an entire mountaintop city. The sheer size of these mountains result in some stunning views and valleys that will take your breath away. When you think of Minecraft's rarest spawns, you might think of spawning in a village or spawning on an island. So imagine the rarity of spawning right in between two island villages. That's exactly what this seed gives you, with the two villages only being 13 blocks apart. An unlucky number for some, but certainly not for you if you were to pick this seed. Grab yourself some gear from the blacksmith and then hop on over to the other village where you can find some ocean ruins that have collided with some houses. See what you can brush up from the suspicious gravel and let us know what you find. From lucky villages to a very unlucky village where you'll have to fight off both pillagers and skeletons. But at least there's a temple and a camel to make up for it. The outpost towers high above the houses, making this quite an intimidating village to live in. And right next to the temple, you'll spot an exposed skeleton dungeon. These poor villagers will have to duck from arrows firing from both above and below. Push pillagers off the tower, farm some bones and do some archaeology. There's so much to do in this village. 
That's another 10 seeds down. We're not even halfway through. Still to come, there's insane terrain, unique islands, and even a village that's been hit by an earthquake. But first, here's a seed that spawns you in an amazing dark oak valley, which contains a woodland mansion, a village, and some incredibly sharp, jagged peaks. The village's path conveniently leads you right to the mansion entrance. It's such an eye-pleasing spawn to look at, and there's even more exciting features to find close by. Just over the peaks, you'll find a jungle which has a jungle temple right next to some trail ruins. There's more to see underground too, with this ancient city that's directly underneath spawn. This seed spawns you on one of the best jungle survival islands ever found. It's not often you get to survive on an island with jungle villagers. The island even has its very own temple, which could be your starter base while you plan out the rest of your adventure. There's so much to do with this survival island. Trade with villagers, loot the temple, build a bamboo treehouse and maybe even dock in the middle for when you're ready to sail away and explore. Law. This next spawn is a builder's dream. This seed spawns you in this huge cherry and ice spikes crater, which has an insane amount of building room. Surrounded by cherry blossom, buzzing bees and frozen spires, the opportunities are endless in this isolated and spacious plain. It's so beautiful in here, and there's loads to do as well, so you'll never have to leave. There's a small quaint village to trade with, plenty of pumpkins to pick, loads of exposed caves to explore, and even a small pond for fish. What more could you possibly need? This is the dupest snowy mountain crater in Minecraft. These frozen slopes are absolutely jaw-dropping. They're some of the steepest slopes we've ever seen. If you and your pet goat were to live in a log cabin down here, you'd have the most protected base in all of Minecraft. It might take a while to climb out though, but when you do, you'll find a village climbing up the mountain where you can truly appreciate the scale of the frozen peaks above. Who's up for the ultimate survival challenge? This seed drops you stranded on a small pile of rocks right in the middle of the ocean. To make it worse, there's not even a glimpse of mainland in sight, only water as far as the eye can see. It's the ultimate test of your survival skills. If you were a stranded castaway here, how would you survive? We've seen a few structure combinations already, but this one truly takes the crown. Brace yourself while loading up this seed, as you'll encounter a five-structure combo that combines a pillager outpost, a desert temple, a village, a shipwreck, and a ruined portal. Everything is connected, so maybe you can ship all the pillagers off to the nether while you try and restore this church. The structures sit on a colorful combination of biomes too, so you'll have plenty to explore. Let's go to a place that is sure to captivate you. This seed features a windswept bamboo biome that you simply have to experience firsthand. This unique bamboo mountain reaches high above the clouds, giving you an unmatched view of the surrounding jungle. It's mesmerizing and a fascinating environment. If you can manage to build something that spirals all the way up to the top, it would undoubtedly look truly awesome. Welcome to Alligator Island. It's got an elongated tiger tail that leads up to a wide open cave facing the ocean. Make your way through the stony teeth and you'll find a large lush cave inside of the alligator's mouth. Tame the beast by making the island your own and you're bound to have a unique survival experience. And if you like islands with exposed caves like these, you'll be happy to know we've got an even crazier one coming up soon. There's so much going on in this next seed. While most Minecraft seeds feature end portals, it's quite rare to come across a broken one. This one has been totally destroyed by a mine shaft and a spider spawner has replaced the silver fish spawner. Luckily, a full intact end portal isn't too far away, as this village sits above two end portal rooms. This seed also has a beautiful ice spikes and cherry combo that looks over a village with a path that leads you directly into a ravine with a mine shaft. There's also a stronghold village closer to spawn which has both a basement igloo and a double dungeon inside of the stronghold. If there was ever a perfect survival island seed for two friends, it's this one. This tropical island spawn gives you not one, but two beach shipwrecks, meaning you'll both have a shipwreck each. There's even two coast armor trims, so you 
you can both represent your island in style. The small jungle gives you some exotic wildlife to keep you company and one cane of bamboo to get a farm started. To top it off, there's a good sized beach area to chill on and maybe build yourselves a bamboo fishing shack. Here's another double village spawn seed. This one is extra special because the surface beneath the villages is entirely hollow, with the two villages being separated by a massive cave opening. If you're any good at building bridges, this seed provides a fun village connection project. Once you're done turning these villages into a town, head to the coast where you'll find an ocean monument within jumping distance. You've been sending in a load of comments lately asking for mangrove seeds, so here's an interesting one for you to check out. It's a small mangrove island spawn in the middle of the ocean, and if that wasn't unique enough, it's even got a desert temple floating in the water for you to loot and call home. Mangroves have always had a mysterious allure, as if they're hiding something. What that something is, we'll leave that down to you. This village has been hit by an earthquake. Minecraft's tectonic plates have been pulled apart, resulting in six houses falling down into a dripstone cave. Luckily, there's plenty of survivors down here, so maybe you can help get them back to the surface because this village is in such a beautiful location. It's surrounded by dark blue rivers, light blue frozen peaks, pink cherry blossom forests, and yellow, white, and purple meadows. I guess this village wasn't a mistake after all. It's a happy little accident. We all love sinkhole seeds. They're great for adding an extra layer of allure and adventure to your journey. This is possibly one of the best yet, as it's generated on an extraordinarily rare double village lake right at spawn. These villagers might need you to come down to be their lifeguard because this lake looks dangerously deep. What's even more worrying is the fact that the villagers farm their beetroot while hanging over the edge of the pit. Someone, please build them a fence. Mushroom fields are a super rare biome. Many players haven't even encountered one before. However, in this seed, the mushroom biome is so vast that it's impossible to miss. There's over 5.4 million blocks of mycelium, making this the biggest mushroom continent ever found in Minecraft. That also makes it the biggest hostile mob-free zone in Minecraft, so if you want to feel safe, this is the place to come. If you're a builder, you're going to adore this seed thanks to the diverse range of wood types you'll have right at your fingertips. You spawn in a village that's surrounded by every overworld tree type in the game, so you'll have an abundance of resources to work with. But the village you spawn in is pretty rare too. There's a pillager outpost, a jungle temple, and nine allays that need to be freed. There's also a deep dripstone pit where some villagers have opted to escape from the pillagers. A 1.20 playthrough wouldn't be complete without a visit to the cherry grove, and this seed has you spawning right in the middle of one. Rise above the pink spawn crater and you'll see a second mountain crater directly opposite. You could have a base in each one, with a tunnel through the mountains connecting them. With the tall, jagged peaks and cherry groves surrounding the entire mountain range, the scenery is simply unparalleled. There's loads of villages around too, and a couple of lakes that look like eyes. This is Minecraft's most incredible Badlands Island spawn. The wooded Badlands sit high above one of the biggest coral reefs you'll ever see. Drop down and you'll notice the island is completely hollow, housing a lush cave within its depths. The lushness covers the entire cave and with the addition of these amazing ocean views, you get a mesmerizing and immersive environment. With an island as unique as this, the possibilities for building something one of a kind are endless. Here's another incredible mountain seed that you have to experience for yourself. The scale of these max height mountains will seriously blow your mind. Ever since the Caves and Cliffs update, we've been treated to some incredible mountain ranges, but this one takes the cake. This one, again, stretches over 4,000 chunks around spawn. It's so massive! It'd be the perfect seed for a mountaintop-only survival challenge. The Cherry Grove biome is undeniably picturesque with its enchanting pink colors and never-ending petals. But when you add a giant lake to the mix, it becomes an absolute masterpiece. Even if your building skills aren't top-notch, the stunning scenery here would make any creation shine, even if it was just a dirt hut. And this spawn doesn't just have the looks, it's got great personality too. There's a village on one side of the lake and a ruined portal on the other. Thanks for making it this far into the video. As a reward, we've saved the most amazing 10 seeds for last. If you like that last one, you won't believe where you'll spawn in seed number one. 
But first, check out these amazing jagged peaks. They are some of the sharpest peaks we've ever seen. There's loads of flat plains and cherry groves around the mountains, giving you an excellent opportunity for building. And whatever you choose to build here, you can guarantee that it will have the most eye-pleasing backdrop in Minecraft. Who wouldn't want to live where they get to look at this every day? Maybe you could build a majestic castle that spirals up the peak where you can rule over your kingdom and live amongst the clouds. We all love village island seeds. Unbelievably, this island spawn comes with three villages super close together. On the main spawn island, there's two villages, with one of them nestled into a charming cherry grove, and just off the coast is where you'll find a smaller island with a third village. It's rare enough to find three villages this close together, so to have them on islands that spawn in the middle of the ocean is absolutely insane. Prepare for your jaw to drop when you spawn in this next seed. You'll be astounded by the glitched phenomenon that lies before you. The crashing waterfalls flowing from the sky-high aquifers look as though someone intentionally created this spectacle, but it's actually a natural occurrence. At the very top, it looks like there are some village paths without buildings. That'll give you a clue for what you can find inside of this craziness. It's a completely waterlogged village where the villagers and their camel have been trapped behind the falls. It's pretty dark in here. Wonder when was the last time they got any sunlight? This seed has an awesome tiger village that has loads to offer, including trail ruins attached to one of the houses. This village seed would be great for your first archaeological dig. One of the houses has opened up a gap in the hills that leads you to a spacious lush cave that would be perfect for a cave base. A further drop down into the cave even leads you to a mine shaft hanging from the lush ceiling. This seed offers the ultimate cherry grove experience, spawning you right next to the longest cherry valley in Minecraft. This seed is really a must try for everyone. This incredible vast cherry grove seems to stretch endlessly. Jump down in between the cherry walls and you can start to imagine the possibilities. You could fit a long and thriving civilization in here, surrounded by the beauty of the cherry blossom. But maybe you prefer a more simple and solitary experience. This seed is ideal for that. Welcome to Minecraft's perfect survival island spawn. With this seed, it's like the game has gifted you a haven all to yourself. The tiny island village has no villagers, meaning this is all set up especially for you. You've got your own house, your own iron golem, some pet cats, one singular tree and a farm that is ready to go. If you ever wanted a seed to just chill on, this is the one. This outpost village seed has something that is nothing short of extraordinary. Although the trail ruins next to the village is pretty cool, there's something even more special. Dungeons are typically known to spawn mobs deep underground, but this seed has an incredibly rare occurrence where the dungeon has generated on the surface. When was the last time you were able to walk up to a zombie spawner as easily as this? Here's a seed with an amazing jungle village that has a surprise feature that you may not even notice unless unless you were told about it. The village floats upon a large lake where there's another crazy sinkhole underneath the houses. There's even a shipwreck floating above the water too. Cast your gaze upwards and you'll spot a floating island high in the sky. Fragments of the village have again generated at the very top. This floating island has incredible views and would serve as the perfect location for establishing a sky base. Here's another amazing survival island for the Trails and Tales update. It once again comes with a village, but more impressively, a cherry grove combined with ice spikes. There's never been an island this small with ice spikes ever on this channel before, and we've showcased thousands of seeds, so the fact that this one also comes with a brand new biome and a village makes this incredibly hard to come by. The final seed spawns you in a double cherry grove village crater. The odds of finding two villages this close together at spawn are low enough, so to have them inside of a cherry crater separated by a charming lake makes this possibly the best village spawn for Minecraft 1.20. Could you imagine a better village location for the new update? If somehow you can, let us know and we'll find it. We hope you've enjoyed all of these seeds. Let us know which was your favorite in the comments. If you'd like to continue your seed search, click on the next video to find 20 more insanely rare Minecraft seeds.